In this video, I will provide you with a few reasons why you might not ever consider using a round log to build a set of stairs for the surface area of your steps like we have in this example. However, as always, I will leave that up to you. If it makes sense and it's something you really want, then go for it. So here we have a set of stairs built out of concrete that would be shaped the way we normally see them. And I went ahead and placed the logs in a position to where they would create a similar type of stairway. And in it we have 7 inch risers and a 12 inch stair tread depth. And in our next example we are going to place our logs in concrete. So we have identical stairs here. The logs are in the same position as the previous example. Except in this example, we are going to set our logs in concrete. So you can see here where we might need to put some smaller logs or more concrete in this area to provide better structural support for the front logs we're going to use on our stair steps or lower the riser height. And if we don't fill these areas in here, like we're going to in our next example, then something like this would be very uncomfortable to use. And if we do fill these areas in, we're going to be dealing with small sections of concrete that could easily break or and separate from the lumber here. So this isn't going to provide us with the best option either. And of course the number one reason why I wouldn't want to use rounded logs would be that it's going to reduce the level or flat surface of the step. And in some cases make the stairway more difficult to use for some people. And I think going up this stairway might not be as difficult as coming down. You're going to want to put your foot on this section of the stairway. And if you lose your balance, it could force you to fall forward a little easier. And I think the building codes to build something like this could be a little confusing because you're still going to be coming off of the farthest section of the upper tread to the farthest section of the lower tread to measure the tread depth. And the same for the riser height, but in reality you're not going to have the same surface area that you're going to have over here. And last on the list will be the fact that some building codes will not allow this because of the curvature of the nosing. That shouldn't be more than 9 sixteenths of an inch. And in this example here, we have a 3.5 inch curvature. 